Hello, and welcome to Mr. E's Watch Reviews. So, I want to give y'all a heads up. This is not going to be a review on or unboxing for any specific watch. Uh, I've got this nice big box here, and it has a multitude of watches in it. Um, basically, uh, one of the watches is mine. The rest are on loan. I'm just going to show y'all what y'all can be looking forward to here in the future. We're just going to unbox everything. And there's also a great big uh, case in here, um, which I don't believe has anything in it. But I didn't want to open this up. I've actually had this for over 24 hours now, or almost 24 hours. And uh, yeah. Okay, and of course, the person who packaged this is a uh, meticulous in his doing so. Let me get this case out of here. I would like to say thank you for this nice carrying case. Um, we all know it's an Invicta and all that, but this thing is a uh, super badass. And my man said he had a bunch of these. But, you know, nice traveling case. You know, the only thing is, is, is bright yellow and it says Invicta all on it. Which, if anybody knows anything about watches, they're going to know it at least had watches in there. Hopefully they'll think they're Invicta so they won't steal them. <laughs> if they know anything in there about the watches, then they're like, oh, well, they're Invicta. It's just like maybe fucking $50 for the watches in that bitch. But this looks very badass. I'm going to uh, definitely, definitely use this. Because I, I need another storage container. So let me set that off to the side. So let's go ahead and pull out these watches. Let, let, let's see. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. But we're going to go old school uh, Sesame Street. Here we go. We have one, one watch. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. We have. Two! We have two watches! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We have three! We have three watches! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I don't know if they still have the count or not. But... We have four! We have four watches! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, shit. That was close. We have five, five watches. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Six, we have six watches. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Seven, we have seven watches. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Okay, enough of the count. He used to get annoying to me with the whole uh oh, oh, oh thing. So, let's see, which ones are these? Is he, he didn't wrap everything back up so nice. I thought these were like brand new and like had never even been out. Okay. So, we got a citizen. I can't tell if y'all can see what I'm doing or not. Let me see. All right. So we have a citizen. I believe both of these are citizens. All right, we're just gonna pop open the boxes, show y'all what's inside, and then move on. Oh yeah, that's right, nice. Mm-hmm. I'm not much on brown, but yeah, I like this. Nice bronze or whatever. That's, that's pretty so cool looking. You don't see a lot of that in divers. You know what I'm saying? You don't see a lot of bronze divers in uh, bronze vessels with a uh, brown insert. All right. Because, again, I've got to do all my research on all of these. Look everything up. We're just going to kind of show you all what's going to be coming in next several weeks. 
Basically, I got my work cut out for me. Ooh, here we go. Another citizen. Oh, man. Wow. Do my first yellow dial watch. And first impression on this, I, I really think that's kind of nice. I, I like the little case design. It's kind of lightweight. It says it's automatic. I mean, this thing, it feels very light. Oh. Might have to try that on real quick. That's good looking. Oh, yeah, and today I'm wearing my Ocean Rover 2 that I put on one of these $3 strap, silicone straps I got off of AliExpress. Um, I think that matches up right good. All right, let's flip that off. Set that off to the side there. So you can feel those wrist eyes and mine are pretty close. Oh, yeah. I like that. That looks very good. I'm not, I'm not a yellow kind of guy, but... Yeah, not bad at all. All right. I'm sorry that I'm not really going over these, over these or anything, guys. Like I said, this is just kind of a preview video. And since there are so many watches, we're just going to keep it moving. Now, this one, Mr. Filo sent to me because it is not working correctly. And he told me I could keep this one for parts. Or see if I can get it maybe to work like it's supposed to. Got the 120 click unit directional bezel with the typical Bugani back play like a champ. It looks like the watch is wanting to try them run. What movement is it in here? The same one that's in my other one. Hmm. I don't know, we'll have to size it up and wear it, see what the hell this thing is doing. I don't know, I like I like the red and blue aluminum bezel on this. You know, be decent to get this thing running halfway all right and use it as a beater watch. It's not too bad looking, I don't know. We can figure out what, why it's doing the weird things it's doing. Maybe we can use this as a giveaway watch or something. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. So, keeping it moving. All right. This one is my watch. Uh, the, the individual that helped me, which I will not reveal their name because I don't want to get them in trouble with the company. Uh basically gave me their place in line because they had been impatient and already uh gotten oh yeah you can't you guys can't read the note yeah i'll i'll, I'll read the note but yeah y'all can't read the note let me just let me just double check make sure hang on a second there ain't no identifying stuff on here Mm, no, no. Yeah. All right, so there's some cool stickers and some warranty cards and stuff like that, but uh, there's some identifying information on there, so I can't show y'all. Like I said, not only does this individual help me get this, one, this watch here, but they have also helped me procure a second helm. So this is the Helm Curaburi, or Curaburi. Um, I'm going to do a separate unboxing on this one altogether, uh, where I peel all the stickers and everything off. Um, my buddy Duncan loves these watches. Uh, I really wanted to check and see what the, the deal was with them. Hmm. Does the bezel not rotate? Oh, I guess it does, but I don't know. It's just not wanting to turn. 
Maybe I will have to pull some stickers off real fast. Let's see. I just got the thing up here on the top. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I don't know why the hell I didn't want to turn them while I was on the thing. That don't feel too bad. Little notchy, but no back play. Definitely looks like a chunky monkey. Yes. But I chose to go with the crown in the 4 o'clock position because they'll do it in 4 and 10, and uh, 10 just looked a little too odd to me. But um, here, we'll slap it on the wrist real quick. Now, this is a whole lot bigger watch than I normally go with thickness and diameter. Uh, but I've heard so many great things about this brand and these watches and stuff like that. And like, these are real like divers watches kind of deals. Um, you know, they're ISO certified and all that kind of good jazz. I don't like that right there. I can tell you right now. See like that, right? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Like, why didn't you put this one up, up the thing further? You know what I mean? Especially you want to have like that. If you ratchet it all the way down to like there, you don't put holes all the way up to here. Like all the way up to here, you put holes. Like whose wrist would you be able to attach that to? But yet you got all that hanging out of there. And then, um, yeah. Not too impressed with your NATO there, uh, Helm. You know, you know I mean? Look, look at that. It looks like a big old tongue sticking out. You go, Bleh. All right. So I just happened to look at the little clock counter. We are already up to almost 12 minutes, and I've still got, I think, four watches to pull out the boxes. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to speed this up a little bit. I don't want my camera to turn off all of a sudden accidentally. That will just really piss me off. Oh, come on, biscuit eater. Get in there. Yeah. I, I, I got to say, like I like the color of the NATO, but... um. So far, that's about all I'm liking on that NATO. Uh, I'm not not too impressed with that. Let me just take a look at the bracelet real quick. Ooh, do 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 spring bars. Now the bracelet. This looks very nice. Bracelet looks very nice. I hope that is just the film that is scuffed up there. Yeah. Very nice looking clasp. Lots of micro adjust. Feels very beefy. Yeah. And it even gives you the nice little things that tell you open that way. So, very cool. And looks like they give you a nice tool in here to do your work and plenty of spring bars. In case you screw the pooch somehow. So, that looks like an awesome package. Um, like I said, I can't wait to do the unboxing on this one and get to bust it out and actually wear that bad boy. Um, yeah. So, very excited about the helm. Very, very excited. And I actually have a Komodo on the way also. Which, I'm actually more excited for the Komodo, I think, because it's a 40 mil. Um, but I, I'm, I'm really kind of digging this blue on, on this one right here. And why is this box not wanting to slide over top? Why are you being a hoochie? Okay, we ain't got time for that right this second. We'll, we'll come back. I'll, I'll fix that later. All right, let's see. I don't recognize the symbol on this one. Oh, you know what? This is MMI. This should be the turret. Oh, shit. Do, do, do. Uh, now, I was very interested in the turret because I actually live in the area where this the battle of the Monitor and the Merrimack took place. Um, little update also on the Sky Dweller from MMI. Uh, basically, Mr. Wee would like me to tell you guys, he has put essentially the same bracelet that goes on this watch, the turret, uh, with the quick release spring bars and everything uh, on 
the sky hunt or the sky dweller uh or sky hunter or whatever it is um is it sky hunter or sky dweller no sky hunter sky hunter my bad uh man i like this again another yellow dial i'm not you know i'm not usually a big fan of yellow but that that looks pretty cool oh Oh, well, she, I like this. Oh, hell yeah. That bezel action is right badass. The, the, the edge of the bezel could use a little bit more grip. Because it's awfully thin. But I like that. Let's see. Screw down pushers. Chronograph. Ugh. Or are they screwed? No, they're not screwed down. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't know. Is this one a quartz? I could have swore this had a... Uh, automatic movement in it. I mean, maybe I rotated it enough for it to be able to start running like that. Let's see. I'm, I'm trying to see where this is second sand. I don't know. This looks like a quartz movement. I'm, I'm not sure which... What movement this has in it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's say maybe it might have a VK67 movement. If I'm reading this right. I don't know. Again, I've got to do all my research and everything. But man, I like that one. Let me slap that on the wrist real fast. I know. I got to keep it moving, guys. Oh, shit. Yeah, I found if you can't get it over your wrist with... Oh, yeah. This one sides perfectly for me. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I must have known how to set that one. Yeah, and that, that bitch fits perfect. Holy shit. Yeah, Mr. Wee, I want one of these. I'll definitely take... Uh, a, a, a turret. I, I mean, I like the Sky Hunter, but nah, I, I, I like this one. This is that's badass. Like that looks good as a bitch. But blue or black though? Yep. Yeah. I'll have to see if you can, or if you're going to do any more of the turrets. Is yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Slip that back into there. And again, all these will get their own individual unboxing and all that kind of stuff. Just, you guys know how I am. I like to show y'all everything and be as transparent as possible with you guys on my initial reactions. All right, so very impressed with the MMI. The first Citizen was pretty cool. The second one liked it better. Spagani was eh. The helm was pretty badass. Imperial Watch. Royal Guard 200. Wah. All right, so we got some... The warranty cards and little rubbing cloth there. Now, this is a brand I had never heard of. But it looked right spiffy. And my my benefactor uh, highly recommended this. This has actually got, like, it, it feels kind of light. But in a good way. You know what I mean? Like, like it doesn't feel cheap. It just, oh, yeah, it's got, like, the fully articulating bracelet. Yeah. Let's see you slide that one on. Yeah, I just need to take out, like, one little micro adjust on that one. But, man, that thing is nice. That is very, very comfortable. That is very comfortable. And if you guys hear Scooby snoring in the background, I'm sorry. He's hanging out with daddy while he's doing his videos. So, yes, 
Just please on this one. Uh oh, let's see. Do the bezel. Hmm. Not bad action. No back play. Again, the bezel is a little thin, and the coin edge could be a little bit more pronounced. Uh, and again, you know, I just say this, guys, because I know that I have very strong fingers. Um, so if it's a little difficult for me to uh, grasp, it's definitely going to be difficult for, like, the average Joe Blow. Um, not saying it's impossible or anything like that, but it just, all right, how am I, what am I doing wrong here? Did you have it in there like that? I know you didn't have the thing clasped. I don't know. You might have, you just squeeze that down, I guess. Mm -hmm. There we go. We'll do it like that. And that should close, hopefully now. No. Ah! Biscuit eater. What am I doing wrong here? Did you just kind of have it sitting in there? Like that, I guess. Yeah, okay. All right. Whew. Man. So, down to the T so. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's pretty badass. Kind of got like a Tiffany blue dial or just a light blue, sky blue dial. And this is the automatic version, I do believe. Give it a couple of wines here. Yep, the automatic version. So this has got the butterfly clasp. Again, feels kind of light, which is actually kind of nice. It's a different change of pace. Um, it definitely reminds me of... Uh, certain particular types of watches. Um, I don't know, man. I, I really like this. Because I've been looking at these and thinking about getting one. But, um, they only have the quartz ones every time I go in. So I don't know I have to look into this. Like, because, it, you know, this is definitely one of the most highly... Uh, recommended watches, especially for somebody that's just getting into the game or something like that and wants a nice, good Swiss watch. But, yeah. So, at any rate, everybody, um, that was the unboxing. Like I said, we got multitude of watches coming our way for reviews and uh, all that kind of good stuff. So, please like, subscribe. Uh, you know, let me know which one you all want to see first. Talk to you all later. Bye.